now to one woman's continued fight to keep her beloved pet. We first told you about Nugget, the potbelly pig, on Friday. The city of Cleveland prohibits people from keeping pigs in the city, but it does allow other farm animals in city limits. Well, today, Nugget's owner took her case to the Cleveland City Council. Kelly Curtin is live now to tell us if her efforts paid off. Kelly. Yeah, that meeting ended just a little more than an hour ago. Megan Anderson and a handful of people really inside that building say they will t continue to fight to hopefully allow pigs in Cleveland city limits. Megan has a special connection to her potbelly pig Nugget. Last Friday we spoke to her. She tells us Nugget is like one of her children. Today was about voicing their concerns to council, hoping they would listen to the reasons why they want the city to rethink this ordinance. You got feral hogs in, all over Bradley County. Councilman Bill Estes says this takes time and thought, and the city can't just change it to allow swine in city limits. He says there would need to be specific rules and regulations if they were to change the ordinance. Megan says they are happy to hear from the council, but still feel overlooked. To keep pushing, and we're not going to stop. I'm speaking from the pig community, a chance is better than a solid no. So I do feel like there's hope, and we really appreciate Mr. Estes um, for listening and giving us an open ear. At the end of the meeting, there was no change to that ordinance. Now the group tells me they have been fighting for a few years to get that changed. And at that meeting, they couldn't find an exact date of when that ordinance was passed, but it has been in effect for the last few decades. For now, reporting live here in Cleveland, Kelly Curtin, News Channel 9. Kelly, thank you. Now the ordinance allows all other farm animals inside city limits like cows, sheep, horses, goats, and chickens. It excludes swine. The group tells us animal control will take the pigs and bring them back to the shelter, and they say the rescuers have to pay an adoption fee to get them out.